Oh, let's see, it's almost nine. Let's remind everybody. Daniel, good evening. Daniel, hello. Well, 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 let's see. Time over. Oh, wow, Martha is connecting. Martha, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, who's that new lady? Who's the new girl <laughs> in the group? Who is she? Who is she? Hey, who's <laughs> that one? It's a new one. Yeah, it's a new class classmate. <laughs> No, I will take a trip so I can come like her, looking younger, fresher. Yes. 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 Have a new Yanira. Oh my God. Yes, you see, you see, it's not just me. <laughs> a whole different story, right? Yanira, you, in this moment, you, you, yeah. Um, Usted ya era famosa, teacher, ¿cómo decirle? You were famous. You were already. famous. You were famous. Y en this moment you are most famous, o mucho más famosa, no sé. Even more. 
You're more I'm popular. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. No. It's a joke. I only change my hair. Only that. It suits you well. It suits you well, listen, Karin. Thank you, teacher. Well, let's see, but I was talking to Marta. Where did you go, Marta? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, how's everything? Everything was okay, teacher. Today is uh, very busy, but um, everything is fine. Everything's fine? What? Yes. I have a, a, a lot of work, but step by step, I am finished. Oh, all tasks for today. Okay, yeah, that's good, that's good. So you're finishing everything, you're ready, right? Yes, I am ready for the class, teacher. That's excellent, that's the attitude. And tell me, how was the trip? How was everything? Um, I think it's, it was okay. It's a, a very funny, um, many adventure with my English. Well, well, try my English with other people. I, I como se dice it? It's a various hostos teacher. <laughs> Tell me what happened. <laughs> I don't know, but in, in, in the market, I, I tell, I am sorry. No, I tell, excuse me. I am, I am say, uh, I am sorry. So I confuse when you use the, the word, excuse me, I'm sorry. If the, the people uh, what Sí, watch me, así como que, what? <laughs> it's a funny teacher. Yeah, well, the good thing is that, I mean, everything went fine and you could participate. That's really important to be able to participate, to, to interact with people. Yes, I am survivor. <laughs> Okay, okay, well, that's nice, that's nice. And tell me, what about the jet lag? How was last night for you? I imagine you were tired. Yes, I'm tired, but uh, I, I arrived around uh, 30 past eight, but I am driving uh, the airport to my house so i i arrived my house about um 10 10 p.m teacher oh really around 10 yeah. p.m yeah wow. because in april i i i uh no sé cómo recoger maleta pick up my bag, um, migration, uh, let me see the parking, the new rules in the parking. So it's, it's a very late out the airport. Okay, well. Yes, I, I, I cannot uh, connect with with my class teacher sorry 
Yeah, I was waiting for you, ladies, but I imagine, oh, yeah, they're tripping. They're saying, like, oh, who cares? Another class. That's no, teacher. <laughs> I'm I'm no, teacher. Okay, Martha, thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Janita. Hello. Hey, teacher. How are Hello. You? Well, I'm good. I'm here and survive or two. <laughs> okay, and tell me, how was everything? Oh, all is okay. I'm ready for the class and I'm ready for the new trip. Okay, excellent. Oh, yeah, when do you leave? Um, Wednesday. On Wednesday, you live on Wednesday. Yes. That's nice. Yes, teacher. I'm waiting for That's this nice. trip. <laughs> You're waiting for it? Yeah. Yeah, no, oh, because it's the okay. first time. It's a new place to for to oh. know. Oh, really? You have never gone there? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's nice. We stay here only for five days and we take a new trip again. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice. <laughs> yes, teacher, it is. Yeah, and as you say, it's exciting to get to know uh, new places, right? Yes, of course. We're expecting that all will be okay. Well, let's hope so. Just give me a second, Shanita. Don't, don't disconnect your microphone. I just need to record something. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much, Janine, for waiting for me. Okay. So tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, that's hey, your teacher. new headset? Yeah, my new headset is a uh, Bluetooth, but it oh, really? has a microphone, yeah. And I saving uh, 50, $53. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah, the price is 69 and I pay, I pay sixteen dollars. No, oh, yeah, really? sixteen. Dollars. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, was a very good saving. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, whenever we can say a couple of bucks, it's always good. And then I I think I told maybe uh, I was yeah I I was no do we get teacher what do you I say I have to I have to buy more more handset and sold here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you could have made a couple of bucks, extra bucks. Yes. Yeah, but I could I have bought one, but that. you didn't want to make business with me. That's okay. I just <laughs> keep it in mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that's cool. So you're leaving pretty soon, right? And don't forget, you need to be on my classes. 
I don't know how you're gonna do, but you gotta be in the classes. Yes, teacher, I, I take your class in two days, but the last I came because I, I was flying. And I oh, arrived okay. very, very late. And then with, with driving, with, with drop. Yeah. And you know, uh, we arrive around 10 p.m. at Marta's house. Then was very late. I arrived to my house at um, 10 cherry near 11 p.m. Oh, ouch. Yes, it was very late. Yeah, but what? Well. The good thing is that we are safe and sound at home. Yes, teacher, yes. Safe and sound. Safe and that, sound. That means in good condition. Okay, okay. Okay, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see who else is around. Let's see, uh, uh, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Ambar. Come on, I'm I'm still expecting the good news. Um, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> how do you say? Todavía estoy en suspenso. Oh, really? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting because it's a uh, very big process and I hope tomorrow resolve them. The sale. I have a headache for this process. It was a very, very hard day for me. Okay. I hope tomorrow will go through. I hope tomorrow it will go through. I hope tomorrow will go through. Yeah, that means eh, se ha aprobado, pase este proceso, I mean, the process to finish. So that's the idea when you say, I hope tomorrow it will go through. Ah, I let's hope, hope tomorrow everything, will yes. let's hope everything goes fine so you can celebrate on the weekend. Ay, I hope, to, I hope, ay, ¿cómo era? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so it will go through. Yeah, let's let's expect everything is okay. And what about the rest of your day? Um well uh, my day was hard for this process and another sales and actually I I feel very tired. I have a headache because uh, close to my house, my neighbor, uh, she's, how do you say, remodelando su casa? Oh, really? They're remodeling, remodeling. Remodeling her house and the, is very, very noisy. And yeah, noisy, actually, dusty. Exactly, la verdad. En español se lo digo, la verdad que eso no me ha ayudado mucho con todo lo que he tenido que yeah. hacer hoy y con eso. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. I mean, you are stressed and everything starts piling up and it gets more yeah. stressful, right? Exactly, yeah, yes. It was very, very stressful day. Well, tomorrow I got the same as yours. Tomorrow I got a stressful day because I have to go to a bank. Oh. I thanks hate for to the bank. thanks God is <laughs> it was is it will be Friday. No, Saturday I have a special activity and I don't like it. You know, Amber, Saturday I gotta teach little kids. Oh really? I got like 20 kids from the ages from seven to twelve. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's going to be, and and the kids wanted to celebrate Halloween, so we are preparing a special activity for them. 
Oh, so okay. Tomorrow and, and Saturday is going to be stressful for me. So I understand you sometimes. I mean, there are some good days at work and some days are like that. You feel like everything is is conspiring again against yourself, right? Oh, <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Amber, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, Maria Alejandra is still in shock due to the new girl in the class. Yes, I speak in shock. I have a new girl in this group. Yeah. <laughs> new friend, <laughs> new goal. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. So how's everything? Today was your day off, so you must be relaxed. Yes, teacher, I feel relaxed. Um, I do oh, uh, I do the same activities all the Tuesday. Well, the only difference this Tuesday uh, was uh, I didn't miss uh, I, I didn't, um, no. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't visit my granny. Because... Already, that's bad. <laughs> yes, but I think that someday I visit it. I will visit it. And I, I will visit her. her. I will visit her. I will visit it her. And um, only that. In in the morning, I choose to uh, eat in the Pollo Campero, La Ramblas. Okay. And then I stay in my apartment a moment. Then go to my father's owner or company, I don't know. Yeah. And then I stay in my mother's house. And only that. Oh, really? Well, yes. the good thing is that you rest. Though. And that's yes. important. I mean, I mean, to get out, you need to get out of that apartment because you work there, right? Yes, it's a problem. I need to stay out. Yeah, you really need to get out of there once in a while. Okay, thank you very much and welcome, Maria Alejandra. Guys, I need to get attendance. So let me see. Uh, uh, Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present. You. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Thank you, Francisco. Oh. Okay. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher, sorry. Marta Anadelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanael Ayala Arizondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. And Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Walter. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. 
and Shanira Elisa Velasencio Garcia. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Say present, please. Present. Thank you, present. Nicolás. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see. Okay, now we are ready. Well, let's continue. Today we have, let me just check on something on my lesson plan. Okay. Yeah. We got a lot of work to do, but we still got time. I'm sorry, guys. I was checking my lesson plan with the with the timing. Okay. So Let's continue. I still got time for the conversation part. Walter, hello, Walter. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Uh, and everything fine. Okay, and tell me, how did your day go? Oh, and excuse me, teacher, how do your day? How did your day go? Como fue su día? Okay, oh. and the morning? Uh, I'm going to uh, learn in the morning. Excuse me. Early temprano, teacher. Yes. Okay, early morning. I take a shower, um, prepare my uh, drawers, clothes, clothes, and I going to go uh, work. Uh, Quarter seven. Quarter seven. Quarter seven in my world and in the morning. I'm prepared and meeting my boys. Uh, uh, at the order, the different, uh, the exercise in, in morning. In Magnum and the practice the jeans. Okay. Uh, I had a lunch. And the practice the jeans. And afternoon, uh, I check in the mail, um, replying mail. Oh, and the finish world, uh, fight 45 minutes. I go to my house at uh, 6, 6 p.m. And in my house, uh, watching TV. In the moment, I had a class. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. By the way, before I forget, guys, uh, did you get the message today? Uh, they are looking for the people who's going to enroll for next level. Remember, next one, I guess, is the last one of this year. Excuse me? So... No, I'm sorry, Walter. This is, oh. uh, um, I will talk. Okay, I will switch thanks. it to Spanish just for a second, guys. Cambio el español solo por un momento. Este, okay. Le recuerdo que nos mandaron un mensaje en el grupo concerniente a la documentación para la inscripción del próximo módulo. Eh, espero contar con todo, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. For me, Perfect. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, les recuerdo, muy importante que estemos pendientes. Yo sé que en el caso de algunos de ustedes, no hacen ustedes el trámite, sino que lo hacen directamente a su empresa. Eh, vamos corriendo con eso. Fecha límite es el lunes para mandar la documentación. Si tenemos algún contratiempo y no se logra comunicar con los chicos de la oficina, pueden hacerlo a través de mí. Yo les aviso a ellos para que les colaboren. Quiero ver qué más. Mm. Día lunes nos va a caer el correo, si mal no recuerdo, sobre el the survey, la encuesta, encuesta de satisfacción. 
Te recuerdo que esa la hacemos todos juntos el último día en un momento asignado. ¿ok? Así que tranquilos, eh, es un proceso que ya conocemos y lo hacemos juntos. Bueno, aquí está Guasol. ¿Alguna pregunta? No. Perfect. Let's continue. Ok, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Hey, Roxana, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, same old story. What about okay. your headache? Mm, my headache is okay. Today I have a little. But I didn't um, take a pill, and I hope I no necesite. I hope to. Don't I hope need it. I won't. I hope I won't need it. I I hope I won't need it. And that's okay, teacher. I I hope I I, I hope to have a good. Nine today. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's the problem when you reach certain ages. You know, a lot of illnesses. <laughs> you know the ages, teacher. Yeah, that comes with age, Roxana. But yes. don't worry, don't worry. I mean, you I gotta know, accept teacher. that. It's part of life. <laughs> yeah, I know, teacher. I need to buy my um. Nicho, how do you say Nicho? <laughs> <laughs> I have a, I have saved for that. I am saving. Um, I am saving for that. Interesting, insert, interesting. Well, you're you're gonna buy your thumb. Pump. Thumb. T O M B, or you can say also uh, grave. Actually, oh, in this okay. case, could be grave. Grave. Yes. So I'm um, saving for like my this. grave. Yes. Ah, okay. The correct form oh. is uh, I'm saving grave. for my grave. Yep. Okay. Well, actually, currently I'm saving. That's I don't know cool. why, but maybe I can use for my grave. Uh, well, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, you gotta be positive towards life, yeah. as I can see you are. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Pretty positive. Yes. Realista, realist, realist. Realistic. Well, you know. Realistic. I mean, yeah, that happens. That happens. Yeah, the last time yeah. I see uh, a notice in the social media that the youngest person have less probably to life. Yeah, Believe. because we, ha yeah, because um, I'm not youngest, but uh, I consider that I am in the in the front, in the frontier, no sé. In the border. <laughs> in the limit. I have. Yeah, I, I am in the border and the notice um, mm. say something like that. Uh, the youngest person uh, uh, all the time, tr pardon, uh, all the time, all the time, um, try to uh, get a party or uh, drinking some uh, pills without uh, prescri prescriptions. Yeah, you got a problem uh, with that? Yeah, I have, and, and other things, but uh, in the article I read uh, and I feel identified with uh, barriers, some. with many, some, with yeah. some uh, point items. So I, I don't know, teacher, I think that I will die, I don't know, uh, antes, after, um, after 20, before? no, 15, no, before, sorry, before 50 years, maybe. Yeah, you know, you are pretty positive towards life. Yeah, 
Thank you, Roxana, for sharing with us those positive thoughts. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Welcome, Roxana. Thank you. Jose, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my friend? Um, now I feel very tired, teacher, because... Oh, you got the inventory, right? Yes, teacher. It was an in inventory work. And today I've been inventorying all the thread colors. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And... That's crazy. Yes, teacher, because I had to assembling pallets of uh -huh. up to 30 bucks Ooh. and it identify each item and recording it on a pre sheet. Okay, item, item. Item, okay, this identifying uh, each item identify, identify identify excuse me teacher identify each item and recording it on a pre count sheet okay. it was a crazy day teacher very busy day yeah, I and, imagine. I mean, and whenever you do inventory is crazy yes teacher and tomorrow uh, will be the same as I see it. Oh, really? Yes, well, teacher. Yeah, actually, Wilfredo told me about it yesterday that we were going to be very busy. Thank you, Jose. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Then. Let's see. I still got time. Yes, I still got time. William. Hello, William. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Oh, you know, just fine, just fine. Here, ready. And tell me, did you have a good day? Yes, teacher. And actually, this day I had a little more. This is fantastic. Oh, really? That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. William, you didn't do my homework. Yes. I was checking. Yes. Just Maria Alejandra sent me the homework. <laughs> uh, she the sending yesterday. Yeah. But you know, guys, if you can send them the sentences after the class or tomorrow, if you want, it's okay. You can send them to tomorrow. Me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I can check them out. That's no problem. Remember also that we are starting the last section, right? Section number three. Section number four, I'm sorry. And, yeah. uh, and I mean, some of you need to finish everything. So yeah. let's hope everybody finished. This weekend, so, let's see, let's see. Well, this weekend uh, working in platform. This weekend you're going to finish the platform, perfect. Excellent. Yes, we can. Excellent. Let's mm. hope everything goes according to plan. Then tomorrow or weekend. Tomorrow no, no weekend is okay. Hey William, weekend? thank you and welcome. Teacher. Yes. Uh, tomorrow I visit a relative. Oh really? Or, well, or who was having birthday? Oh, that's cool. So in, celebrating in tomorrow, the party is always good. Yes, and tomorrow, uh, last day of classes. Here waiting for the weekend. Yeah, that's cool. Excellent. Thank you, William, and welcome. Thanks, you. Let's see. Nicolas, how are you, my friend? Hello, no teacher. Good evening. Good, Good evening, evening Janira. You? Your face. Oh, you see, everybody knows Janira. You're famous in this group. Hey, of, of course. 
Okay, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you, mister? Well, uh, today I, I was uh, in San Lorenzo and in, in Atikisaya all day. I, oh. I spoke uh, with the mayors. We spoke of pending, pending water system projects. Uh, pending activities of the municipality. Okay, well. Um, well with the mayor, specifically uh, of Atikisaya, we talked about water well. The waters ha have arsenic and is necessary uh, work in this uh, water well. Oh, really? No, it's possible. No, it's no, it's possible. Uh, it is not possible. It is not possible. Uh, what the what the people uh, take or drink it this this water. Oh, wow! Well, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. That's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, it, it's a there's a risk. There's a risk. How how do you let me take it for you? Like this. There's a risk. I am risk. Yes, there's a risk. Well, yeah, it's something that you gotta be very, very careful with. Interesting, Nicolas. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, let me check out uh, Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Hi, teacher. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still working. I, I'm too oh. And no problem, no problem. My, in my work computers and because you know I have my list full <laughs> okay well don't worry don't worry take it easy okay just listen and pay attention that's okay okay teacher let's see let's see let's see who else is around who, with whom I haven't talked yet Nathanael hello how are you Hi, teacher. How are you? How's everything? Yeah, I, I am fine. I am fine. <clears throat> and you? Well, you know, same old, same old, same old story. Yeah. Working as usual and trying to wrap up this day. You know, they all say another day, another dollar. That's the way it goes. Okay. Okay. But um, if you like to, to, to do every day, it's, it, it, um, it's fun. Um, uh, the day is uh, it's more easy. Uh, the, the, the moment it's is easier. More, easier. easier for, it's easier for you. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, but still, you know, as in every job, there are some things that you love doing, but uh, to do the stuff you love doing, you have to stand some other stuff you don't really like that much. And that's that tends to stress you a little bit. And besides that, even yeah. if you do what you enjoy, you always get a little bit tired. But today has been a, a nice day, you know. Slow, but perfect. I mean, not a slow, but acceptable. Acceptable. There's been day better days. There's been worse. So, it's an average one. What about you? Um, it. it uh, I am fine. It's fine, but uh, I work um, um until four p.m. Um, so I, I, I can, 
I can rest um, a little after. I couldn't. Yeah. And I, it's more relaxed and, and I, I can't do it um, in, in, the, in, in a few weeks ago. So it's, um, it's a grateful, it's, it's different when you, you stop earlier than on, on the day. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's nice when you will finish the, like everything before the, the loaded time. Because yeah. you feel like, wow, I did it. I have extra time to rest or perhaps to do something that you love. Like, uh, like me, you know, I am, I'm starting reading a new book. So I'm happy. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's different. It's different. The, 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 yeah, it's, um, uh, it's like, um, I, uh, if I, three times, can I, can I do in, in, in this moment? <laughs> so it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's, it's uh, you think different uh, about. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, little things that we do are, they are satisfying. Nathanael, yeah. always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. And okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Wilfredo, for coming here. Welcome, Silvia, and Fernando and everybody. But we need to jump to the next activity because today we're going to cover a lot of information, actually, you know, guys. And we are going to start with the conversation. So let me share with you the conversation we got for this unit. Okay. But before doing the conversation, if you notice here, we have, uh, let me get rid of this, please. We have a couple of questions. Have you ever heard the term risk assessment? What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? I repeat, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trying, trained to apply one? Okay, guys. We are going to jump into the groups. You are going to have a couple of minutes. This is easy and fast. You will have a couple of minutes, then we come back here and we are going to do a discussion. That discussion means to be finished before 9 p.m. because at 9 p.m. we need to start with the conversation that it's the second exercise of unit four, okay? So let me get the groups ready and fast. So we can have that little conversation, groups are created. Let me just check, change some people here. Okay, and perfect. Groups are created. You're going to have just five minutes for the conversation for those three questions. Let's do it then fast, please. Are you ready? Alfredo, my friend, you look teacher. tired, man. A little, a little teacher. Yeah, you a look little. tired. But it is 
It is so hard this this week for for that in my job. Because yeah, the same as go. Martha's, you know, Martha's week has been so hard. <laughs> Very hard, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I imagine, you know, I imagine. I number, number page, teacher. Page number 33. Uh, thank you. Exercise one. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Have you ever heard the term risk? Assessment? Mm, risk assessment. What mm. is the meaning of assessment? If, yo entiendo por assessment como una entrevista, no. No. But yeah, because in my, in my uh, previous job, I remember that something say assessment. I had a assessment. Y era como una entrevista. Grupal. No, evaluación de riesgo. Oh, evaluación. En ese caso era una evaluación. En este caso es una evaluación de riesgo. Yes. Your... Puede ser Actually... evaluación o valoración. Valoración de riesgo. Yes. I think that uh, risk assessment is something that you apply when you, I don't know, when you maybe when you are start with an with a new project project exactly. and you need to yes. and you need to um, evaluate evaluate some. Uh, Items about uh, your uh, your cost or your environment. Yeah. Uh, or perhaps if you uh, if you ask the 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 bank for a loan, the bank is going to make a risk assessment on yourself. I mean, if, okay. If there's a risk of you paying or not, or like perhaps in Daniel's area, if he starts building a house and the in the area that looks a little bit dangerous he needs to make a risk assessment to check out if they can construct or not okay okay uh, what do you do uh, well uh, in my company there are uh, uh, complete system for risk assessment uh, there are a, a, a specific department uh, it, the risk to which it refers and maybe if it's a financial or informational or yeah. operational integrity uh -huh. Yeah, integrity market. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you are the, making the, the definition of risk assessment. Yeah. yeah. It, it's it, valoración. Okay. Excuse me. Valoración de riesgo. Yeah. Uh, it it depends. Teacher yeah, because... it, depends, it depends on the area. Like I was explaining to the other guys that in a company is perhaps if you are starting a new project or if you are uh -huh. uh, if yeah. you are taking out to the market a new product or perhaps like in Daniel's case they are in construction and he needs to make a risk assessment assessment of the land the terreno in order to check if it's viable yeah. to build. Or the, the activity that Nicolas did today, they were checking the, the water and they made a risk assessment to check out if it can be consumed by the people, right? Yeah. Yes, teacher. And maybe of another situation like evacuation of personnel, 
you yeah. need to have a, a risk assessment to the evacuation routes. Yeah, to create a, 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 a the plan. Mm -hmm. Or operation, um, the, the risk Machine, assessment. Machinery. Um, this is... Ladies, hello, finish. No, teacher, I don't understand this idea. <laughs> okay, idea, idea. Risk assessment, evaluation de riesgo. And that's like, imagine that a company is creating a new product and sending a new product to the market. Then they need, they need to make a risk assessment on evaluation de riesgo to see, to check out if it's safe to, for the people, for the customers to consume that product. Or perhaps like in, in the case of your classmate here, Daniel, he's in construction. He needs to make a risk assessment of the land, the terreno, before he starts building a house, right? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps uh, you work for a company and and or you or you ask for a loan to a bank to start a new project. The bank comes and analyzes if it's viable or not, and if it's uh, if it's possible for you to pay back the money. So the bank makes a risk assessment on you. Is it clear now for you? Yes. Okay. Yes, I I search the concept in the internet. Is it is a process to measure the magnitude of the risk? Yes. Exactly, okay. that is. Lavado de dinero. What? Mm. <laughs> Lavado de dinero, teacher. Who's laundering money? Uh, Yanira. Yanira. Huh? Behave, Yanira. I don't know, Maria. <laughs> Alejandra is telling me that you are doing. Uh, that you are doing some, some, you know, there's some monkey business <laughs> going around you. <laughs> why, teacher? Why? I don't know. My Alejandra told me. I don't know about that. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, tell me, tell me why, Maria Alejandra? Yeah, Maria Alejandra. Do you owe her an explanation? Huh? Yeah, but you know, you know, Maria Alejandra. Uh, you know, uh, uh, as a friend of mine used to say, the problem with you telling me secrets to me is that my, che my chest is not a chest. <laughs> it's a oh, public oh, oh. notice. It's a when public you, when you Because you have a new person. The teacher is a... Like, ¿Cómo se dice esto? A... Influencer. <laughs> no. Okay, look. Look to this phrase. My chest is not a chest. Mi secreto no es el tuyo. Something no, like no, that. No, 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 no. No. There's, the thing is this. The word chest means two things. Eso significa dos cosas. Mm. One of them is a uh, picture. Um, but the other one is like a um, other, yes, exactly. But the meaning so, is, I, oh, I don't know, I, I, I get that it's the, the meaning is, mi secreto no es el tuyo. <laughs> no, 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 my chest no. is not a chest to be saving nothing. So whatever <laughs> Maria Alejandra tells me, I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher, no. It doesn't matter ah. what you say. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I don't I don't keep secrets. <laughs> you are bad, so, very bad. Both, yeah, both of you, both, both of both, both of you. Well, no, it's just that Maria Alejandra told me, let's bully the new girl in class. Yes, you are bullying me. I'm very sad. 
No, I'm yeah, very near yeah. to cry. <laughs> you see, very pretty. Thank you, Maria. All Alexander. the class, all the class, but in the, cl in the class are very different. Yeah, everybody How knows. Do you say, mucho calor, teacher. It's too hot. You know what? It's too hot. You know what? It reminds me of one time that one of your classmates uh, opened up the camera and, well, with a nice makeup <laughs> and the hair. I don't know if you remember. Yes, I forgot it, teacher. Yes. I forgot Okay, let's see, let's see. Am I waiting for someone still? Yes, I'm waiting for one. We're waiting for two persons, actually. Let's see, we're waiting. Oh, there's Ambar. Ambar, I need your help. Yes. Would you mind please reading for us the concept of risk assessment? Okay, give me one second, please. No problem. Uh, the concept is, it is a process to measure the magnitude of the risk in, in a company, for example. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Nathanael, how do you understand that? Could you explain uh, the idea of what is risk assessment? It's um, when the companies or the management of the company's uh, principle um, uh, structure um, in, a, in a piece of paper or in a PowerPoint, uh, some, some risk, about the different activities, for example, evacuation uh, system, uh, IT system, uh, or, um, or in different activities, for example, um, financial, financial statement, uh, or um, in different situations, um, it's a uh, operation when the, the, the some, uh, some departments start a project, uh, usually um, the team is, uh, structure are, are a, a risk assessment about uh, to know preliminary, pre, preliminary issues about this project, for example. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, guys, now. Now we go to the next part of the activity, okay? That was just for you to get acquainted with the vocabulary because now we go, we got to do the activity and the activity is to go for the conversation. Oh my gosh, it's nine already. Let's, before we jump to anything else, let's get the, wow. the attendance, the second attendance. Let's see. Uh, Amber Eliel Faro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Uh, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Present, Osorio teacher, Durán. Thank you, Fernando. Thank Present, you, teacher. Thank you, José. Lucero Abigail Godínez López, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Yalarizondo. Present teacher. 
Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Vendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Teacher, oh. present. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. I said your name and you ignore me. No, no teacher, problem, have Maria a Alejandra. problem. <laughs> I understand. No problem. No problem. Let's continue, guys. Okay, look. Two managers are discussing about, about risk and hazards at different locations in their company. We have to read the conversation and take turns practicing. Okay, so hold on, just give me a second. Let's see guys, it goes like this. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric barn, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Remember, we are in the manual in page number 33, and this is exercise number two. Guys, I'm trying to get the picture for you guys. We have the conversation there ready. There you go. I will repeat it one more time. Let me check if the list of hazards is, and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric barn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, guys, this is a two people conversation. Let me check out in the groups. Okay, you can start right now practicing. You will have five minutes, guys.
Fernando, you are you are still busy, right? Hey, teacher. Uh, yes, but I, I I can practice the conversation. Okay, perfect. Let me see. We are round number. Anyway, round I, num I had a lot of words, so I can pay a a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Just let me check on something. And around number eight. Okay, perfect. I will bring Maria Fernand, Maria Alejandra here. Okay. Maria Alejandra, I sent you to a group. Uh, and I was talking with him. In conclusion, you don't finish your work. We have, yeah, I finished my work at Never it's does. PM? No. Yeah, this is. I like it all the time. Never work. <laughs> Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> the teacher is is similar to Manuel Ramos because uh, Manuel Ramos is uh, the boss of Janira. And Janira's he, boss. Janira's boss. Okay. And. He all the time told me that I don't have work. Oh, like the truth. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Yes, I agree no. with, with, with them. <laughs> I will send some cases tomorrow, Janira. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I start again my vacation and then I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. En serio. No, yes. it's a joke. The <laughs> next week, the next week on Wednesday. Oh my then God. Okay. After, after the end of month. Oh, wow. Well. I try to, okay, como se dice? Teacher, no morir. teacher, let me, let me, how do you say, contact? let me tell you, Roxana called me in, in my vacation at night before the class for, no. she needs to solve some cases. You can believe that teacher, she's bad, very she's bad. She's pretty, pretty, pretty inconsiderate, I know that. <laughs> yes, teacher. Before no. the class, I work with. And with... I am sure that if you call her on vacation, she never answers. Yes, I, I know, teacher, but that. I need I need the job. <laughs> I didn't have vacation. Why not? Um, well, I. ¿Cómo sería? Yo cumplo el año. I get my first year. I get my first year in November, but uh, I have I haven't uh, holidays because I just work, 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 work all the time. I'm sorry for you, Roxana, but I have four years in this company, and this is my first time that I take my vacation. En serio, no me mm -hmm. eso. Yeah. Then you don't think in vacation. This year, I'm sorry. Okay, for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Yanira. Okay. And I, I will do play. Do you want to hear, hear something nice, Roxana? I always get, I always get one month every year of vacation. Seriously? One month. Yes, one complete full month. Nice. Which month, teacher? December. 
Really? Oh, all December? Okay. Yes. All Starting the, December the 1st, and I get back to work in January the 5th. Really nice. All years, teacher? Yeah, every year. Nice. I invite you, teacher. Envy really? Me too. Envy you. I am. Yeah, I, I don't like it actually. Come on, Why? teacher. You spend your time with your family. This is the problem. Time, your travel. I don't know, but I always look for extra jobs. Yeah, on, I know. Teacher. You know, to live the life. Well, actually, until, until four years ago, I have never ever stopped working even in December because whenever December came I used to get different jobs new jobs in order to to be busy but from four around four or five years ago to now I have I have taken the my vacation but yeah. in December I'm desperate I don't even sleep properly because I need to go back to work you are a, how do you say, addict al trabajo, workaholic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on, teacher. You need time for, for, for rest. You told me all the time, Janina, it's necessary rest, but mm -hmm. you don't take your, uh, you say, tu no. propio consejo? Your own <laughs> advice. Your own um, advice. My don't. Bye. So we usually... Um, we have to fill out the severity risk and we have to value the risk level, risk levels. You have, you have a principal problem or risk uh, about uh, fruits, fruits or maremotos? Uh, no, that's tsunami. Yeah, tsunami. Fruits. Yeah, tsunami. also yeah. fruits. Also flutes. Uh, actually, we 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 never had a we have never had uh, a, a training. We have uh, never really? had a training about tsunamis because one one day it was a problem and it was something very very um, strange because there was a tsunami alert alert here in in at the beach and they were evacuating people from here but the, there was like a, i don't know false alarm a false alarm a false alarm and then it was happening something strange uh, in the ocean and people started running everywhere. People started running everywhere and it was very disappointing because there, there is not a program yeah, how to, yeah. to act in this kind of Let's see, let's see who's gonna be first. Ambar and Claudia. Ambar, you are Marcos. Claudia, you are Josue. Okay. okay, give me one second. 
Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, this. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? I'm ready, Marcos. Now, I were on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Perfect. Just perfect, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Hey, two F, Fernando and Francisco. Fernando, you are Marcos. Okay, teacher. Uh, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measure for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft, draft for the office safety plan yet? Francisco? Hello, teacher. Did you listen? You're Jose. Yes, I can listen to you. Already, Marcos. Now, I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I will work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress in that. All right. Then, I work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Establishing, establishing, Francisco. Establishing. Yes, perfect. Okay, teacher, thank you. Now, let's see. Jose Osorio and Maria Alejandra. Jose, you are Marcos. Maria Alejandra, you are Josue. Let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shock, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? I'm ready, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and incident. Great. I work on some idea of controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establishing the incidence probabilities, the potential severity, risk values, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Perfect. Very well done, guys. Wow. Marta and Nathanael. Marta, you'll start. Okay. Let me check if the list of hazard and safe, safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock or electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now, I work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, value, and risk level. That sounds good. We have, we want to have everything ready uh, by the end of the week. Perfect. Thank you. Nicolas and Roxana. Roxana, you start. Okay. <clears throat> Let me check if the list of hazard 
in safety measure split. Measure for electric shaft, for electric board. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcus. Now, I'll work on the plan for reporting hazard and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds cool. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Perfect. Just Nicolás, incident probabilities. Is incident probabilities. Incident Perfect. probabilities. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Incident. Let's see, Sylvia and Walter. Sylvia, you are Marcos. Walter, you are Josue. Okay, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric born, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? All right, Marcos. Now, I will go on a plan for the reporting hazard in incident. Great, I will work on some ideas on controlling risks because you haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I will work establishing an incident and probabilities, the potential and safety, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Perfect. Just remember, uh, Walter, the potential severity. The potential severity. And all right. All right. All right. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see. Um, Wilfredo and William. Wilfredo, you'll start. Okay. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measures is complete. Measures for electrical shock, for electrical burn, yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I go on the plan for the reporting hazard incident. Great. I work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on splitting the incident probabilities, the potential severity risk, value and risk level. That's some good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now, Janira, and let's see. Uh, um, Sylvia, can you help me please with Janira? Janira, you'll be Marcos, and yes. Sylvia is going to be Josue. Okay? Okay, teacher. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric form. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safe plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I will work on a plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I work on some idea on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I'll work on establishing the incident probabilities the potential severity, risk value, and risk, risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Perfect. Thank you. 
very, very well done, ladies. Now let's see. Next activity. Sorry that I got you running, but we need to cover still a couple of more exercises. Let's see, there we go. That's just too small. Okay, this exercise, I hope you do it on your own. Now, exercise number four, building vocabulary. We have to match these terms related to training and personal development to their meaning. Let's check them out. We have risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, irreversible damage, precautionary. And then we have consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. Undo, this is it. Aimed to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Likelihood of harm in specific circumstances. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Okay, guys, let me just get you a picture of this so you can have it in the chat. Sorry. Okay, there you go. Now we gotta go work on groups. Uh, let me recreate them. Okay, groups are created, please. Let's jump in. Let's do the exercise, the pairing. You will have four minutes.
dirigido. I meant. I meant. I meant to protect someone. Aim. 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 Oh, okay, teacher, sorry. Aim to protect someone, something, mm -hmm. for the hazardous, I don't know, hazardous, teacher? Situations? Hazardous. 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 Okay. Hazardous, teacher. Hazardous. What is the meaning for la, no, la pronunciación correcta? The likelihood. ¿Cómo? Next to safety measures. Likelihood. Okay. Likelihood. Okay. And hazardous. No, 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 no. Hazardous. Situation. Hazardous. 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 Ah, okay. Hazardous. Yes. Hazardous. Hazardous. Okay. okay. Thank you. Number five. Is irreversible da damage. The irreversible. Ir irreversible. Irreversible. Irre Possible. Consequence or damage that is so serious? Serious. That is serious that is impossible to und. Und. Undo. Yeah. Undo. 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 Yeah, Undo okay. is, is irreversible. Yeah. This is it. Don't talk anymore, guys. He's the teacher. Oh, yeah. Right. It's it's about here. him. Yeah. Don't talk more about, about him. Oh, that's why I will send you back to the main room right now. Okay, teacher. Thank you. And I will tell everybody what's the new girl's fault. <laughs> Hello, Sylvia, how are you? I am good, thank you. And what about you? Uh, you know, same old story. So today was your day off, right? Oh, you yes, went to, right. to I had to work. You In the morning, I went to the Libertad and then they called me from my from my job that I had to work in the evening because two of my co-workers are sick. So Ooh. I had to work five hours and I finished at 8 p.m. Oh my God, so sorry to hear that. Well, you're gonna get extra yeah. money, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but still, That's it's not the same, right? No, it's not the same. You but were planning day on off, resting but... a little bit, yeah. Yeah, but it was good. I feel good. Okay, that's cool. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's do the exercise. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, okay, let's see. Risk. What is risk, Wilfredo? Are you around? I'm sorry, teacher. I didn't activate my microphone. Uh, we talked about the. Um, it is likelihood of harm in specific circumstance. Okay, likelihood of harm in specific circumstances. Perfect. Thank you very much. Ambar, what is a hazard? Mm. 
uh, unprotect from something dangerous or unpleasant. Mm, mm, mm. Complex, right? Hazard. Read this one, please. The last one. Amber? The potential to be dangerous and to cause harm. Yes, that's hazard. Why? Because uh, hazard uh, potential to be dangerous. It's almost the same, peligroso and dangerous. Hazard and dangerous is almost the same word, okay? They're like synonyms. Okay. Thank you, Ambar. Let's see, let's see. Now I got exposure. What is exposure? Let's see. Maria Alejandra, what is exposure? Maria Alejandra? Sorry, teacher, I lost my connection. Can you repeat me, please? What is exposure? Number exposure. two. Um, protect from something dangerous, um, pleasant. Unpleasant, unpleasant. Perfect. Thank you. Now, number four, safety measure. Safety measure goes to um, Nicolas, what is safety measure? Safety measure is the the paragraph two is aim to protect someone, something from a hazardous situation. Ooh, please, Nicolas, read this one. I uh, the number four. Read it, please. Yes, is pro procedure, 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 pro procedure, pro procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. To prevent, to prevent, to, to prevent, to prevent. Okay. Prevent. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Wilfredo, you got number five. Irreversible, irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. It is consequence, consequence, consequence. or damage, or damage that is to tell you that it is impossible to undo. Okay, let's see. So he said that is consequence or damage that is so serious that is impossible to undo. William, teacher, William, please, teacher, number teacher. six. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Uh, excuse me, would you pronounce this uh, consequence or how do you pronounce it? Consequence. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And William, please read the last one that is uh, precautionary, precautionary. Aim to protect someone something from a hazardous situation. Hazardous, hazardous. Hazardous situation. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Hmm, interesting vocabulary, right? Now, 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 we haven't had the little conversation we usually have, and we're going to have a small one. Okay. Okay, what are you going to do? You're going to be working in pairs. And working in pairs, you are going to ask and answer these questions that I'm sending to you right now. 
Okay, the questions are, if you have to move to another country because of your job or your partners, when we say your partners in this case, that means uh, your husband, your wife, okay? Your other half, that's the idea. If you have to move to another country because of your job or your partner's job, what country would you prefer if you had a choice? What would you miss most? And what will be the most important for you? Okay, guys. Now I send you the questions to the group so you can get them from there also. You will have just three minutes for the questions because then I'm going to recall you back here so we can talk a little bit about that, okay? So let's jump in, please. Well, let's go check on the groups. I, I, I visit uh, different countries in Latin America, or Central America, Republica Dominicana, Dominican Republic, United States, Mexico, um, in different places in South America and China. South America. Uh, South America. Uh, but um, in all countries that um, that I visited, I I chose probably I like United States and Guatemala. I, I like it. I like it, Guatemala. Uh, it's the same of El Salvador. It's it's different because. What is more is 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 uh, it's more cold um, and the people are very friendly, but um, United States is 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 great, but but I not I don't chose the 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 big city. I I prefer the small city because. Uh, I don't have experience in experience in the other countries, but if I choose, I think that Canada, I don't know. Canada. <laughs> Canada. 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 Well, I think that uh, teacher, the the, fin the Finnish question is more open. What will be most important for you? My family. <laughs> I After guess. the family, <laughs> or in the economy. Family. <laughs> okay. Economy. What will be the most important for you? The family. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe we need to say that, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, 
There, uh, it's a recording, you know. It's a, it's recording. Yeah, you know, yeah. After, I love my family. After the pupus, after the economy, after the. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know, there's a recording. I even wear my ring. You see. Oh my God! Yes, yes. <laughs> Teacher, <laughs> tenga what? cuidado. I want to to I want do you want to uh, sleep in your sofa? Sofa. <laughs> do you want to sleep I, in your sofa? I don't have a problem for sleeping. I can sleep right here when I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He practices. Well, what about you, Martha? <laughs> Uh, Norway. 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 Nor Norway. 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 Okay. Well, uh, what? Or Germany. Uh, yeah, that is the three for 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 me. Which one? Uh, Canada, 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 Australia, and Germany. Okay. Mm. Opposites completely. <laughs> Just the chair. The chair. I would like. I would like to go to Tasmania. Tasmania. Tasmania is a uh, is a uh, it's an island. Yes, it's, it's an island, right? Yep. Yeah. It's, it's near it's near to Australia. Yep, actually it belongs to Australia. Yes, William. How do you say yucca? Yucca. Yucca. <laughs> we 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 talking with, with Claudia uh, that she is uh how do you say extrañaría teacher? Miss she will miss miss is uh a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to miss there. Nothing to miss <laughs> at all. And you find Salvadorians wherever you go in the world. <laughs> in, in the you go, there's there's going to be a Salvadorian. Teacher, dejé hablando sola, Marta. It wasn't me, it was the system. Because according to my system, people still got 33 seconds. Okay. Yeah, and actually Marta told me, I don't want to talk to, she texted me, I don't want to talk to Roxana, I kicked her out. You are liar. <laughs> liar, liar. Liar, you are liar, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, tell me, if you had to move to another country because of your job, what country would you prefer if you had a choice? I prefer go to two countries, teacher. Okay, you, tell me the names. United, United States. And Canada. 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 Perfect. Yes. Okay, Walter. Walter Mauricio, what about you? If you had to move to another country because of your job, what country would you prefer if you had a choice? Okay. And my goal prefer is Spain in Canada. Canada is the people is very is very and the people uh, and education. Yeah. Is yeah. Example? Canada is a special. Canada is very special. Very special. Yes. 
Thank you, Walter. Let's see, mm -hmm. Amber, where's Amber? Amber, 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 there you are, Amber. Yes. Okay, if you have to move to another country because of your job, tell me, what would you miss the most? Well, in my case, I would miss my family because I love them. Perfect, thank you. Excellent number, thank you very much. Let's see, let's see, where's Francisco? It's Francisco. Oh, there you are, Francisco. Believe me, your name, your name appears, your profile appears with a big F and I never find you. Okay, if you have to move to another country because of your job, what will be the most important for you? The most important, my family teacher. Okay. My family. Excellent. Excellent, pretty good. Now let's see, uh, hmm. Claudia. Hello, teacher. If you have to move to another country, because of your job, uh, what country would you prefer? If you had a choice, I, I prefer Canada and Spain. Oh my God! Oh, exactly as Walter. Interesting. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, okay teacher. Sylvia, what about you? If you have to move to another country because of your job, uh, what will be the most important for you? What would be the most important for me? Yeah. Uh, to feel comfortable in the place where I live and to be progressing, to be uh, working and, to, and working every day to be a successful person. Excellent. Very, very good. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Nathanael. Hi, teacher. Tell me, what would you miss the most if you had to leave your country because of your job? Um, the first one, um, I prefer um, the United States. No, but what would you miss the most? Ah, okay. Second. Um, I miss the, the family, friends, and the fools, Salvadoran fools. Okay, families, friends, and Salvadoran fools. Okay, you're very specific. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Look. Uh, these questions as yesterday's activity, but please guys do it. I need them for tomorrow. The answers unwritten, send them to me so I can check them and correct them, please. That way I'm helping you on your writing skills. So please, these questions I send them in the group. Uh, for tomorrow, I need the answers written and I want full answers, okay? I will prefer, I will miss, the most important will be, okay? So please send me the exercise. Now, uh, attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Sagrada Valencia. Claudia, please stay at the Present, end. teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Natanaela Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. 
Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Corneto. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Yamira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework, please. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye, Walter. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Take care. Gosh, I asked Claudia to stay. Hey, Nicolás, still here? Oh, it's done. Daniel, everybody left me. And again, the person assigned for tonight didn't stay. Oh, so bad.
Well, let's see us tomorrow. Hey, everybody. Everybody.